Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to Darren's any card at any number. It does involve a little stack. The stack is a crimped jack of spades from the face down. This is going to sit on top of the deck followed by this stack of cards. Two to king. Two being the bottom most card as you look at it this way around. King the topmost. Two the bottom most card. That little stack will go on top of the deck. So you've got a quarter of the deck stack. So now you can go and show your spectator a card trick. And while you're talking, you're going to shuffle some cards. Now you've got free will to shuffle a good half the pack. When you get about half the cards, drop this on top so you don't go past your stack. And then you need to cut the cards at that crimp. So now all you've done is shuffled and cut the cards in the eyes of the spectator. But you've literally just put all your stack where you need it on the bottom. Spectator's now got a free choice to pick any card as long as it's not from your bottom stack. Show them the six of diamonds. You're going to take their six. You're going to place it somewhere near the top of the deck. You're going to push it in, push down, catch a break. Now you're going to break off a big portion of cards off this bottom because it needs to be <coughs> more cards in your stack. So break a good portion off. That's why put their card somewhere near the top so you've got a few cards to play with. Swing cut the top portion, drop this down, spectator's card is on top, your stack is not disturbed on the bottom. You do need to put the stack in the middle at this point, so you're going to cut off about a third of the deck or so. So you're going to cut about a third of the deck, drop it on the table. Now all you're going to do is turn the cards face up and get your spectators to cut the cards roughly in half. Let's say they cut here. As long as you're looking at a heart, which you should be 90% of the time, you're good to go. So they've cut the cards anywhere they like. You're going to take this card, but you need to lift this and do a risk kill. Because you don't want to flash. You've got another king of hearts. That might look a little bit suspicious. So pull this card up, risk kill as you take it. Place it on the table. Pick up this portion. Put it back on top. And now you're just going to say, look, you freely cut to the queen. The queen's value is 12. I'm going to deal down to the 12th card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the 12th card will be the spectator's 6 of diamonds. So let's just run through that again. Where's my crimp? So we've got these cards. We want the queen. We want the king and we want the jack. So to the bottom most card or was it the king bottom most card? I think it was a king, wasn't it? Now I get confused myself at this point. Let me just have a think about it. If you cut that, eight, one, two, three, four, yeah. So it needs to be this way round, king on the bottom, two on the top, or king on the top, two on the bottom. Crimp Jack of Spades on the top of the rest of the deck with your stack. So you can shuffle. Good half the deck. Drop the rest of the cards on top. Catch a break at your crimp. Cut it to the table. Crimp should be on the bottom. Spectator takes a card. In this case it's the four of spades. We're going to take the four. And we're going to lose it somewhere into the pack. So it's going quite close to the top. Push in, push down, catch a break. Good portion, so you know you're past your stack. Swing cut the top portion, drop it down. Now cut a third of the cards to the table. Drop this on top. Flip the whole deck over. Spectator cuts about half the cards. That was lucky luck, straight to the king. Now that is half the cards. So when you take that little portion off the top to place the stack in the middle, you might want to work on how many cards you need to take. Because if they don't, if they cut it and they land it on a card that isn't a heart, I mean, you could rectify the trick by saying, oh, you cut a few too many, cut again, but it looks a bit dodgy. So work on that. Right. Remember to risk kill. You probably don't need to because there isn't a heart underneath. Turn this packet over. Place this packet back on top. Right, we're going to use the value. The value of a king is 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the 13th card will be 
their card to four spades. So there you go, Darren. There is a, another any card at any number for your repertoire. Cheers.